Hey there everyone, what is going on? My name is Alex Balkus, and in today's video we're gonna be talking about some of the reasons why your iPhone or cellular device might be showing no service. To get started, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about what it means when you have a SIM card in your device and for some reason, no matter what, it's not showing any service bars or signal. There is a multitude of reasons why this could be. So I just wanted to go over a couple of them and let you know what are the most common issues that you're facing when you see no service at the top of your device. If you just recently purchased a device from someone on the web or from someone who recently got out of a contract, as they say, then the first and foremost importance is to make sure that the IMEI is clean. And for those of you who don't know what it is, you guys will go ahead and type in star pound zero six pound into your device keypad and click call. And that is where the IMEI number will pop up. That IMEI number is going to be what represents your phone and its specific device that will allow you to see if the device has any outstanding balances, if the device was registered as lost, if it could have been registered as stolen, maybe the person that you just recently purchase your device from, stopped paying the bill. This is an unpaid balance that can cause your device to go into a blacklisted state where you're no longer gonna be able to use that device with any SIM card or any company, no matter what you do in the United States. Now, of course, there are ways to get that cleaned, but I can't talk to you guys much about that. However, it can be done and it is done on a regular basis. And so that could be one of the main reasons why your device is not showing any service. Another thing that could hinder you from using your device with your company is if the device is reported stolen, which believe it or not, a lot of people will sell you a device, report it stolen, and then take the profits and spend a little bit of those profits to have an insurance claim where they will pay somewhere between 250 to get your device uh, sent back to you with an insurance claim and leaving the person who purchased the device unable to use their phone. One of the ways that you can make sure that your purchases are protected are by avoiding buying these products in cash, leaving with a receipt if possible, or paying with a means of being able to go ahead and refund it in the event that you do end up being a victim of this very common scam or fraud. And so you could pay through PayPal as goods and services, but make sure that you're using some type of payment that can be refunded or reversed in the event that you realize you've been targeted to purchase a blacklisted device. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be blacklisted from the moment you purchased it, but it can also catch up to you down the road whenever the person decides to report it to the company. So of the things that I have mentioned, there is another thing that can possibly be hindering you from using your device, and that could just simply be that your SIM card is not activated. This could sometimes leave you with a no service message at the top. However, this would be very easy to fix. All you need to do is just go ahead and get to the company that you wanna use and make the SIM card active, which will then cause you to start seeing those service bars at the top. You should keep in mind that some companies are very quick when it comes to blacklisting their devices, but on the other hand, you do have a couple of companies that could take months or sometimes never even catch up to the device, which will work out very well in your favor. However, 75% of the time, they are very good at it because it is something that needs to be paid regularly and they do not wanna let their devices go that easily without paying the tab. If you guys do have any issues as far as this topic, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below and I will try to assist you as best as I can. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope I was able to deliver some value and a better understanding of why your devices are saying no service and I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.